uh, today we're at uh, Artbreak Hotel, which is right here behind us. Öl Consortium, our local beer store, is having a Christmas beer festival, if you can call it like that. And I'm here with uh, Jesper Newman, the brother of Sven, you saw in the beer store tour video. And uh, yeah, what's the whole idea behind this little festival here? Well, I think there's uh, uh, just not one purpose, uh, just uh, maybe a free purpose. Uh, one thing is uh, we want to make a brand of uh, our beer selection, Christmas beer selection. We want to brand ourselves, we want to uh, get people into uh, this place and taste what we've got here and uh, get an idea of what they like and not, uh, not like. Uh, thing number two is uh, we want them to uh, start a discussion, we want them to uh, get interested in, in this thing. Um, we want to get feedback and think number three. Thing number three is uh, we want a feeling yeah, of what people like. Is it a uh, hobby Christmas beers? Is it sweet Christmas beers? Is it small tea? Is it spices? What, what, uh, what is uh, the consumer's uh, feeling of uh, and, and, and taste of beers? Yeah. And, and just not what do we like? We are, we are the beer nerds. Yeah, uh, so we like pretty much all yeah. the big stuff. Uh, well. the, the barrel aged things, the, yeah. the sour beers, uh, the extreme hobby beers. But what do, uh, the regular beer drinker, what does he like? Yeah, especially for a city like Oboe. It's yes. not the biggest beer capital. No. So, uh, but <laughs> unfortunately, but it's a good way of getting introduced to like some of the Christmas beers out there. Yeah, yeah. And this is the thing you're. This is the second time you're doing. Yes. Uh, last year was the first time, and uh, we got a bit of uh, experience last year about the beer selection and how many beers and uh, how to do it. But uh, all in all, uh, last year was a success, and uh, the way we are doing it this year is almost the same. So uh, about uh, 50 different kind of beers, uh, mainly Danish, but also uh, American and, uh, and Belgian. German. So, Some uh, a little bit of each. Yes. So guys, that was just a little quick info about this whole event. Uh, you'll see a couple of tasting uh, clips uh, in this video and I uh, hope you'll enjoy it. And thanks to Jesper for the quick little chat. Thank you. See you guys. I'm gonna try some, I've, I'm having here a uh, rogue beer. They call this the political corner because there's a law in Denmark that, that when a beer pass the, passes the expiration date, you can't sell it. And this is a corner where they have some beers that has passed their expiration date, which is an aged beer. Some of them are real good. And I'm drinking this one. The Rogue Morimoto Black OB Soba Ale. I have no idea what style this is. It's on 5% and it's, it just says on the back that it's brewed with a variety of special malts and hops. But the aroma on it, you can definitely smell a bit of hoppy beer. It's more malty now. It's got some toffee kind of caramel notes and a light like toasted note. Yeah, it's got a little bit of... Uh, the dark fruit is actually kind of like an old ale right now. Yeah. Flavor, there's not a lot of carbonation. Um, lightly tart too. I get some kind of grainy, toasted grain kind of flavor to it. But it's pretty tasty, but not anything like mind blowing. But still, it's, it's kind, of, kind of fun to try because I think it's like from 2006 or something. So it's a five year old bottle. Good stuff, but not anything like amazing. Hey guys, I'm over here drinking a blend of the uh, Ali's Prince of Denmark, Ali's Elizabethan ale. Elizabethan ale. Elizabethan ale and a prize old ale from. Um, that's uh, Gale's Brewing Company. Yeah. This is the Fuller's version because Fuller's makes their beer now. But that is two old ales and an imperial style. Yeah. This is a, I think, 35% of harvest each and the last 30 for only price of the ale. Yeah. I get a lot of stouty quality, almost watery kind of uh, smell. Taste wise, you have this sweet, sweet, dark caramel kind of uh, toffee sort of taste. Which just shines through. I think it's from the stout. Um, together with that malty old ale uh, kind of uh, middle ground, and then you'll, you'll finish off with a kind of port uh, uh, wine. Port wine. Port wine. Yeah, port wine yeah. taste. And this is a blend from the again the political corner of old beers, which haven't. Uh, have expired and then can't be sold in Denmark. So 
Right. Get it together, Dave. Because <laughs> yeah. uh, it's pretty tasty. Definitely thumbs up. And we're drinking a, a Christmas IPA by McKellar, the Happy Loving Christmas, which is an IPA brewed with uh, mistletoe and ginger. And that aroma is just in your face. Yeah, tropical fruit, grapefruit, and you get kind of like a gingery spice. Yeah. But I don't smell mistletoe. I but I don't know. Yeah, there's, a kind, there's a kind of grassy uh, and. And it's, leafy, leafy, leafy smell. and it's like the fresh squeezed hot juice. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty fresh too. Um, oh, this smells amazing. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, I this nice, very nice. It's on 7.8%. Good old taste. It's, it's not a summery IPA because it's quite pretty heavy. Yeah. Uh, but I like the idea of doing winter or Christmas IPAs. It's got a lot of great food. Tropical food, a lot of passion, and then it has a little spice in the edge. Yeah, and then, and then it has a heavy malty uh, backbone to it. Yeah, but it, the thing is, the, the malty backbone doesn't dominate the beer. This is a huge thumb up for me. Yeah, I really yeah. beer. I dig this one. So, guys, we're back. I'm drinking a Distuiza beer. This is uh, the cheeses. Uh, their Christmas beer. I think it's a Belgian strong ale or it's a triple. I'm not really sure. Uh, this is the 2011 version. They also have the Reserva, which is barrel aged, uh, which is really good. I reviewed that. It's one of the first beers when I started the channel. But the aroma on this is quite nice. A lot of fruity esters, like some banana and also sweet sugary notes, subtle spiciness. Maybe like banana. It smells pretty nice. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a nice color to it too. It's dark copper. Check it out. Now, I think this might just be because I just had a creek uh, beer made with cherries. But I get a light strawberry note. Uh, I've been cleansing my palate, but yeah, I just had a sample from one of my dad's beers. He's here too. It's right there. Even. Wave, my dad. Hi. <laughs> I just had a sample of his. Uh, it's a beer from Unibrew, a Christmas beer that's made with spices. Um, I think that might be why I get a little bit of a strawberry note, but it's some banana, some spicy kind of notes in there. Dark fruits, a lot of forest fruits. It's really nice. Um, I think it's like 10%, so it's a pretty big Belgian beer. Uh, thumbs up, definitely worth uh, trying. So guys, back with the farm beer, Jule Hummel, which is Christmas hops or Happy Christmas, which is a, they call it a mild IPA, made with, uh, for Christmas. That's a new thing in Denmark, making Happy Christmas ales. And really nice grapefruit aroma. Pioneered by Christian. Pioneered by Christian from beer here. But yeah, really nice grapefruit aroma. It smells like some kind of like simple or something like that. Okay. Yeah, it's mostly grapefruit and aroma. Maybe some peaches though. Not quite nice, uh, but mostly just hoppy. It smells dry hop too. Let's give it a taste. It isn't that mild. <laughs> it's kind of mild for, a, for an IPA, but it's kind of in the West Coast sense. It's quite nice actually. A lot of grapefruit, a little bit of peach, slight sweet maltiness. Maybe a touch of like a sweet citrus fruit, like an orange. Pretty tasty. Definitely a thumb up beer worth checking out. Hi guys, I'm here with Peter here's Jule IP. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't get this on tap, which Peter did at uh, the beer uh, here tasting at the same place. I don't think he got any. Uh, I didn't get to record. He didn't anything. film anything, but uh, yeah, uh, back from my revenge, <laughs> I got a. Uh, Tasting of this one. There's a lot of hops with a kind of multi. Uh, By the way, it's made with orange peel. Oh yeah, uh, that was the one I couldn't get. Yeah, you definitely taste some orange. And it's in general very, very balanced. Uh, Taste-wise, you get that orangey kind of citrusy note together with some uh, fresh hop squeezed. Uh, Hops, fresh squeezed hop juice, yeah. but it's not that aggressive. It's a milder IPA, and I also Very tried mild. it. I tried a one-year-old bottle, and it actually still holds it up, but not as an IPA, but as a um, fruity kind of lightly hoppy ale. It was still tasty. So yeah, thumbs up. Definitely one we have to uh, review sometime. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So guys, we're with a kind of unique 
you, uh, I'm tasting a kind of unique uh, Christmas beer here. Uh, it's uh, from Erbeck, and this is the Christmas Ale. This is a Christmas beer, or Christmas seasonal, brewed with chili and cardamom, uh, which is kind of strange putting chili in a Christmas beer. The, I'm not the biggest fan of chili beers, but my colors, Texas Ranger is very well made. But the aroma on it, filled, filled with uh, with the cardamom. And you, you get a light chili kind of sensation. You get a light tingling sensation in your nostrils. But mostly it's just spice in the aroma. Real spicy. Maybe almost gingery aroma, kind of aroma. But it's mostly just cardamom, cardamom, cardamom. And then some chili notes, some kind of burning sensation in your nostrils. Definitely a spice Christmas ale. Um, uh, you definitely taste the cardamom. The chili isn't as dominant as in the flavor, but there's a light burning sensation on your palate. Uh, not too much, not too lingering. And I also get a little bit of ginger actually, which is kind of strange because it's not brewed with ginger. But I'm guessing that's probably the combination of cardamom and, um, and chili. Um, interesting beer, but not anything I'm overly excited about. Uh, but definitely worth picking up. I'm gonna get that uh, almost. It's, it's an interesting thing. So guys, that's uh, kind of it from uh, the tasting. We're sitting here, we've been here a lot longer than we expected and we're still tasting some different beers, but yeah. Thanks a lot for Ulkontorje uh, to let us film some and also Outbreak Hotel for set up as... Uh, let us <laughs> as Sven needs to be on camera. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, and thanks to Outbreak Hotel uh, for let us uh, letting us like having this kind of letting Christmas Sven have. or letting Sven sorry not us let Sven and Ulrikon sort of have this tasting because it's a very great way to introduce the general public to some of the proper beers and it's a good way to find out what Christmas beers you like um, so definitely if you're in the Alborg area uh, especially if you're around uh, Christmas time it's worth checking out this event or just checking out Ulrikon because they do have a pretty solid section so uh, guys cheers and uh, we'll see you next time in another beer review or on the road video.